Hey everyone, Mtash here, and today I wanted to talk about mounting. Now, mounting a monster is one of the best ways to do damage overall. Not only are you going to get some free hits in while you're mounting it, but once he's paralyzed on the ground, crying in fear, you're going to be able to wail on him with whatever weapon you're using. However, there's not always a ledge for you to jump on top of him, but there are a couple ways you can still mount the monster, get off that super amped elemental discharge, or whatever the hell you're doing, and wail on the enemy. So let's get started. After I one bang this thing, just just give me a second. I, let me let me take care of him. Okay, now let's get started. On many of the maps, there's these little parkour walls that are available for you to run up and mount the monster. As the video continues, I'll try to show you some of these areas, but there might be ones that I don't show or I don't even know existed. Essentially, if it looks like there are mushrooms or ledges on the wall, there's a good chance you can do it. But sometimes it can be branches as well, such as on the Wildspire Waste. The nice thing about these walls and these ledges that you're able to jump off of is they typically end up being in areas where monsters tend to flock to. Not always, but there's a good chance sometime during your fight they're going to go to an area where you're going to have a ledge to walk off of, or, or I guess parkour off of, and mount the monster. Now, mounting the monster, while it does also do a bunch of damage, in some situations, you can use this move to stop them from doing a particularly powerful move, or while they're enraged and doing more damage to you. If you can mount the monster and take him out while he's enraged, not only are you stopping him from doing damage to you, but you're going to have an opening when normally you might be getting squashed. Another quick thing before I move on, there are Grimalkin around that are... Grimalkin? I don't know what to, how to pronounce it that are going to be around to help you trap monsters. And they're typically in areas where these wall runs are available. It's a very useful thing to uh, mount a monster and ride him over there because they're going to trap him for an extended period of time. So if you see one of those Grimalkins saying, Hey, I'm here to help you! There's a very good chance there's a wall run for you to execute. Some of the jumps that you're able to make in this game are pretty obvious. I mean, this thing is pretty, uh, pretty obvious that they want you to mount monsters by jumping off that giant crystal while other ones sometimes aren't as obvious, and honestly, you might run into them on accident and end up doing a mount attack. That's what happened when I was fighting Nerd Gigante in this room. I had no idea you could do that, but I randomly did a flying slice and mounted him, and uh, it made the fight a lot easier. And while there are a multitude of these different ramps for you to run off of and do a slicing attack, there's also a lot of hills you need to take advantage of as well. When sliding, you can use your attack buttons to do a quick little hop or a jump, which will pop you in the air and does count as mounting damage. If you pull it off effectively, you do enough damage with it, you will mount the monster just like jumping off of a cliff. Depending on how the monster moves and the arena you're in, this might be one of the only ways to mount an enemy, so make sure you're taking advantage of the slide. Another great way to mount monsters is by using the wedge beetles. If you hold down L2, just like you were uh, to shoot your slinger, if you press circle or B on the Xbox controller on the wedge beetle, if you aim at the wedge beetle, it will shoot at your grappling hook and it'll allow you to swing from it and mount the monster. Just be careful when you're doing it that you're not trying to swing into the monster or else you're going to get stun locked and, well, murdered. So just be careful when you decide to use those wedge beetles. Look for an opening if you can. Now those are the main ways to mount a monster. You can also use the weapon, the Insect Glaive, to do a vaulting attack, but I don't have any footage of that. But for the most part, that's it. That's how you mount them. You jump off a cliff, you do a sliding attack, you do a wedge beetle, or you do a wall run. Now, one thing to remember is mounting is considered a status effect. Essentially, you do enough damage and you end up mounting them. The first mount is essentially free. The first time you jump on a monster and attack, you will mount it in probably 95% of situations. However, after that, it starts to build a resistance to it. So the next time you go to mount it, you might have to jump on it two or even three times to make it happen. You could get it on the first try the second time, but for the most part, unless you're doing a huge hit with a charged up um, charge blade, it's not going to really happen for you. After that, it gets worse and worse to the point of attempting to mount is not going to be worth your effort. You can mount two times in a fight traditionally, maybe three if you're constantly going for it, or if you're using the Insect Glaive and you're multiple, multiple, multiple attempts at it, you could get more. But 
after your second mount, you should really start focusing on just doing damage to its damage to its tail, its legs, uh, head, whatever it might be, because the chances of mounting it are going to be pretty slim. So that's it. That's my mounting guide. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you very soon, my friends. Bye-bye.